In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use some techniques to get Windows 7 the way you want it. The way that you liked it with Windows Vista and the way that you liked it with Windows XP. First off, Thin Taskbar. If you don't like the super bar in Windows 7, it's easy to remedy this and replace it with a thinner one, like in Windows Vista, Windows XP. All you have to do is right click on the taskbar, go to properties, where it says taskbar buttons, just from the drop down, select either never combine or combine when the taskbar is full, and then click on use small icons then apply. And this will make your taskbar like the good old Windows XP and Vista and previous OS's. If you want to undo it and go back to the way Superbar is by default, just use the same method to correct it. Quick launch. This is a feature that isn't in Windows 7 and it disappointed many people because it's a quick way to get to your shortcuts. One way to remedy this is to right click, make sure that your taskbar is unlocked, go to toolbars, then new toolbar. What you need to do from here is just go to anywhere on your hard drive. And then make a new folder called Quick Launch, then select it. You'll see it here. All you need to do is drag it all the way to the left side of your monitor, and then resize it. Right click on it, uncheck Show Text, and uncheck Show Title. Now you see, I've already got some icons here from my shortcuts. If you right click an open folder, you can easily add and take away shortcuts for that folder and you'll be left with something somewhat reminiscent of Windows XP and Windows Vista's Quick Launch. And if you want to remove it, just right click on the taskbar, go to toolbars and uncheck with Quick Launch. Aero Snap. Now, if you don't like this feature, or it's simply causing you problems, which it's known to on dual monitors, this is how you can remedy it. All you need to do is go to the Start menu, click on Control Panel, then Ease of Access. From here, you need to click on Change How Your Mouse Works, and where it says Prevent Windows from Being Automatically Arranged, when moved to the edge of the screen, check that and click apply. And if I move this window around, you can see that no error snap function is available. If you want it back again, just uncheck it, click apply, and then it'll do it. Audio codec and Windows Media Player 12. If you like me and you use FFD Show for your audio uh, decoder, encoder, and uh, Windows Media Player 12 doesn't seem to use it at all, here's what you gotta do you have to go to System 32 and find MP3D mod.dll with this you just you know, right click and rename you may have to take ownership and right end just call it dot back when it pops up this click on yes the next time you're on Windows Media Player it will use FFD show I hope this quick video has helped, and until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.